human snuggle buggums. Oh, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino Orquaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, and technically Modern Warfare 3. In today's video, we're reviewing potentially the final important tracer bundle of the Modern Warfare 2 year, unless they have like some more bundles throughout like the preseason of MW3. And that's gonna be the Battle Buddy Grim Tidings bundle. This comes at 2,800 COD points, so it's kind of pricey, but it comes with Ghost as the Grim Reaper, essentially, you know, with the dual freaking Grim Reaper katanas, kind of being reminiscent from his model for 2019 Grim Reaper version, but this time he has a hat, and this also comes with a freaking gun screen of a dog. You know how we have the cat gun screen in the battle fast? Well, now we have a dog and some other cool tracer guns. If you guys are excited to see what's included in this bundle, anything secretive about this bundle you should know, and see how camels look like on the guns and everything, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I like uploading, you know, tr tracer packs, reactors, animated operator bundles that interest me, and I'll be doing that during the lifetime of Modern Warfare 3 as well. And I also upload Warzone 2 videos and other sorts of random videos as well. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe? Go ahead. I'm just glad that you're even giving me a chance. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this bundle in full. That dog is gonna get really annoying to me. But we got the Ghost Operator skin of uh, Death's right hand. It comes with the Battle Rage self revive DMZ bonus effect. And uh, honestly, it's a pretty cool Operator skin. Like, if you wanted to freaking just look like Death, look like you wanna body some people and have no remorse doing it, this is the best way to go about it. Let me know if you guys liked this version of Ghost or if you like his Maw for 2019 version. I like the Maw for 2019 one a little bit more, but this is still pretty rad. That dog is something else. We also got the active duty slot here. We also got the TR-76 Geist Soul Separator. And if you're wondering about the tracers, this is how the tracers look like. You legit have like a little raven come out of the people, which is kind of insane. And these are the, the freaking attachment it comes with. No, no ammunition, so you can't put this on any other guns. But it is the TR-76 Geist, which is uh, pretty clean looking, honestly. And we also got the MX Guardian Grave Danger. And here we are with the traces of the MX Guardian. Purple traces with that Raven Death effect. And it was also a really good looking gun. No ammunition, but these are the attachments that it comes with. You can't put these traces on any other weapons, but still pretty cool. He said Cone of Shame. We've got the Reap and Sow dual commas here, which also looks pretty rad for the, uh, you know, the, the commas or whatever, the dual freaking Grim Reaper Scythes. We also got the finishing move Reaping Souls, which will show off in game. We got the Battle Buddy Best Friend, which you've been hearing probably throughout the video. We got the Ready to Reap Weapon Charm. We got the Weapon Sticker Reaps. The Grinning Grim Loading Screen, which legit looks cool for a Grim Reaper. And the Slice of Death Emblem. So I'm gonna go ahead and cop this for 2800 COD points. And uh, check this bundle out in full. So far, I mean, if you like the guns, it's probably worth it for you at that point, but... We'll have to see how the finish move is to really see how if it's worth it. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out this bundle in full. And here we are with the man himself, Ghost, looking like a freaking boss as Grim Reaper. And here we have the TR-76 Geist and the Grave Danger MX Guardian. Now starting off with the TR-76, if you want to keep the tracers, you can change any of the attachments. Except for the ammunition, if you add an ammunition, you will not have tracers. But uh, yeah, here's how the base camos look like. Here's how gold looks like on the gun. Here's how platinum looks like. Here's how Polyatomic looks like, and here is Orion, and honestly, it looks amazing in all four. Here's the Bioluminescent Fun Camo, the Purple Dark Violet Fun Camo, the Germinate and the Goodnight Vibes Fun Camos, the Neon Peaks Fun Camo, and the Speckled Yellow Fun Camo. When it comes to the Solid Color Camos, it's going to look really nice because it's got that Grim Reaper there in the middle, which is pretty sweet to have. When it comes to the Event Camos, you know, the, some of these are going to look really great, like Blood Cell did, the Ghoulie Camo looks incredible that just came out. Uh, we got the boys, and uh, honestly, this all looks pretty sweet. I'm a big fan. We also got the uh, CDL camos looking pretty sweet on this gun, and the Reigns camo that I have. Now, when it comes to the MX Guardian, same thing. You can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition. Just don't put down an ammunition. You'll keep your tracers. And when it comes to the gold camo, here's how it looks like. Here's how the platinum camo looks like. The polyatomic camo and the Orion camo. All, this, these guns look great with anything, honestly. Here's the bioluminescent fun camo, the dark violet purple fun camo, 
the Germany fun camo, as well as the Goodnight Vibes fun camo, the Neon Peaks fun camo, and last but not least, the Speckled Yellow fun camo. When it comes to the solid color camos, once again, it's just gonna look fresh with anything. I just love the way this looks. And here we are with the event camels. Once again, just really looking fire with anything. The goalie camel is still just amazing. Uh, we got the boys camo as well and all of these other camels, which I think look incredible. And here are the CDL camels as well, if you have any of them, which is awesome. And the ranked camo as well. And we can't forget about the reap and so uh, dual commas. Here's how the camels look like on the weapon here, which is nothing too crazy. Here's the Bioluminescent Fun Camo, the Purple Dark Violet Fun Camo, the Germinate and the Goodnight Vibes Fun Camo, the Neon Peaks Fun Camo, and the Yellow Speckled Fun Camo. What does it say on there? Okay, I have no idea what it says, but if somebody can translate that, definitely let me know. Here we are with the Solid Colored Camos, in case you guys are curious, also looking pretty fresh on this gun. When it comes to the Event Camos, here is how it looks like with everything. All of them just look pretty sweet in their own way, of course. I mean, these Event Camos are always fire. We also got the special camos here, the CDL camos, and the ranked camo itself. Now we're gonna see how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here's the base blueprint attachments for the Soul Separator TR-76 Geist. And here are the meta attachments for the TR-76 Geist. And honestly, you're not gonna lose too much of the look. It's gonna look great with anything. Here are the base blueprint attachments for the Grave Danger MX Guardian. And here are the meta attachments for the Grave Danger MX Guardian. Once again, you can pretty much change to the meta class setup and it'll look pretty nice, which is sweet. And don't forget, if you wanna have this annoying dog that you get with this uh, bundle, you gotta uh, go to gun screen and then uh, put him on, which is pretty insane. And of course we got Ghost looking pretty fresh with his finisher as well, and we'll show that off in game. Yeah, we're gonna go into a game and show off the, the guns and how they look like in game and have a whole ton of fun. I'll see you guys then. Okay, so here we are with the TR. Well, you can hear the dog a lot, as you guys could tell. He's, uh, he's extremely interesting. But that was the TR-76 guys, and here is the Grave Danger MX Guardian, which also looks very, very nice here in the in the game. Also, the, the operator skin is all black. I like that. This, this dog is crazy, bro. It's like the cat, bro. And as you can see, the guns do light up in the dark, which is pretty sweet to see. A little middle part and then the, all the... This is, a, this is a pretty clean looking gun. It just sucks that they're not on other guns or, or like these aren't other weapons, you know? I wish this bundle had other weapons instead of these. Anyways, let's see this, uh, this death effect. And there you go. And that little raven came out and freaking sent them to another dimension. Here's the iron sights, by the way. I don't think these have any lasers. Oh, this has got like a, like a bright red laser, but he has got grim on the iron side of the KV broadside or MX Guardian. Nice job, human. I like that. I like that, that freaking effect a lot. And here we are with the dual commas, which also look pretty freaking gnarly, if you ask me. Love the way they look. <laughs> Bro, this inspect is kind of fire. Hold on. Doesn't seem like there's any special effect. Let's see if it does the Raven effect as well, but I doubt it will. Yep, no special effect. These are only for show. I mean, they look really cool, but no special effect. It's kind of an L. Or took off the red dot side of the TR-76 guys. If you're wondering how it looks like, here is how the iron side looks like, which is uh, kind of dope looking, if you ask me. Nothing crazy. Now let's see how these finishing moves look like. Like a reaper, man. Now we're gonna see how the finisher looks like laying down. Cheers, you slag. <laughs> Love ghosts, clean freaking style. And finally, we're gonna see how it looks like when they're downed. Done and dusted. So yeah, pretty clean finishers, but nothing crazy. Honestly, for 2,800 COD points, I'm not the uh, the biggest fan of this bundle. All you get is the gun screen, the operator screen, which is probably the coolest part. And the guns are nice, but there's already traces for other weapons, so... I don't know. Anyways, let's go to third-person mode and check out the operator from a different perspective. Gotta love that dog, but here we are in third-person mode with the ghost operator skin. 
looking like uh, like a full-on grim reaper but yeah i don't know this bundle really isn't all that in my opinion you might like it uh but in my opinion there's other better ghost operator skins there's better other ghost finishers other better finishers in general when it came to this halloween season uh i mean you might like the the death effect from the tracer guns which are pretty freaking gnarly but we've already had tracers for both of those guns already like if they put a cast off 545 that would put, give me you know a lot more incentive to push this bundle but honestly If you need somebody talking to you constantly, you got the gun screen, which I mean, I would just use the cat girl in the freaking battle pass. But yeah, not bad for a last bundle. Uh, if there are any more bundles that get obviously released that I care about, I will cover them. But from now on, I guess it'll be Modern Warfare 3 time. Thank you guys for a great year. Uh, should I do like a top 10 best bundles of all time or something video? I'm very curious, but uh, it was fun making a lot of these videos and hopefully you guys got a lot from my input and my thoughts on these bundles and keep in mind these bundles aren't necessary they're cosmetic only and i just like showcasing them because some of them have really cool effects but anyways i love you guys from bottom of my heart thank you guys for all of them support the past year and for modern warfare 3 you guys already know we're gonna be going crazy with the warzone videos as well as the bundle videos because who else be reviewing bundles like me i freaking love you all and keep being big ballers i love you all